Hello student, today we will study in last class we have studied about factors responsible for formation of soil and the process of formation of soil called as weathering and in today's class we will start new topic soil contains. Now soil contains four important component of soil and they are First mineral matter and mineral pre matter present in soil about 50 to 60 percent. Second contain of soil is organic matter. And organic matter present in soil is about 10%. Third one is now organic matter which is present in 10% amount in soil is again divided in two types and they are living organisms and decomposed matters. Now third contain of soil is soil water and soil water present in 15 to 25 percent and fourth contain is soil air which is present 25 to 35 percent in soil so they are soil contained now sources of plant nutrient where plant get to from where plant get nutrients and sources of plant nutrient we will start next plants obtain their nutrients mainly from the soil out of total 16 nutrients as many as 13 are observed from the soil so from soil and out of 16 nutrients 13 are observed absorbed from soil in which uh, nutrients which are absorbed from soil and they are they are first of all nitrogen phosphorus potassium calcium Magnesium, Sulfur, Iron, Magnes, Boron, Zinc, Copper, Molybdenum and Chlorine. They all nutrients are absorbed by plants from soil. The main plant nutrient like carbon, oxygen, plant get from air and hydrogen from water. Now, in next after nutrient after soil nutrient uh, sorry after nutrients which are absorbed or obtained by plants through soil, we will start soil profile. A vertical section through different layers of the soil is called as soil profile.
So vertical section through different layer of the soil is called as soil profile. Each layer differ in feel, texture, color, depth and chemical composition. Color, depth and chemical composition. Now about soil profile, we will study by a diagram. One more thing about soil profile, layers which are differ in field, color, depth and chemical composition called as horizon. Now we will make a diagram of soil profile. Now, first of all, the upper layer or upper horizon is called as horizon A, in which a very fine particle of soil are present and it is also called as top soil, which is very much fertile because in this top soil, the organic material humus is present and this is the reason from where plant get nutrition or plant get obtain nutrients. So this reason called as horizon A. also called as top soil in which humus is present. It is a very much important part of soil profile and we can say it is a fertile, so much fertile part of soil. Now we will discuss next region which is called as or we can say next horizon which is called as horizon B. The horizon B always con also contain bare particle of soil also. This reason also called as subsoil. After horizon B, we will discuss next horizon, horizon C. This horizon contains big pieces of rock particle, big pieces of rock and this region called as horizon C. Now last part of soil profile is horizon D and they are the complete in this region big rocks are present we can say it is a unweathered part of soil profile and horizon C is weathered part of soil profile in which rocks get weathered so they are present in small part small pieces of rocks so this part of soil profile called as horizon d so it is all about soil profile in which four horizons are present and they are in which first horizon is horizon A which is called as top soil, horizon B called as subsoil, horizon C called as weathered in which in uh, which part weathered rocks are present and we can say big pieces of rocks are present and last horizon is horizon D which are unweathered rocks. So it is all about soil profile. In next class we will study types of soil.